Ugh. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Coffee and Chills. Today, I don't have any coffee because it's 9.30 p.m. Uh, so if you watched our last video, I picked up a keyboard from Logitech. It was the uh, Logitech G910. Uh, it's called Orion Spectrum. It was a really cool looking keyboard. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description to take a look at it if you want to take a look at it. We reviewed it. After using that keyboard for about a day, I got sick of it. Uh, and that's not nothing to say to sing uh, Logitech. I love Logitech. I use their mice. I use all of their other keyboards for coding and just normal typing keyboards. I just did not like that keyboard uh, personally. Um, so I ended up going back to Best Buy, returning the keyboard. As you can see, I don't have any keyboard right now. Uh, but I picked up this bad boy. So this is the Razer Black Widow Elite. This edition came out, I think last year, uh, and it has the green switches, switches. It has the green switches, which I really, really like. I mean, listen to this. I mean, what can you not love about this? The reason I picked this thing, because it uh, comes with this pad that everybody's basically bragging about. This pad is supposed to be super thick. <laughs> Super comfortable. Oh my gosh, what did I eat today? And the crazy thing about this keyboard is it sells for $170 and I picked it up for $99. So if you're seeing this video right now and you need a keyboard, you might still be able to get it. It's for $99 on Amazon and Best Buy. I'll leave all the links below. So I'm really stoked. Without further ado, let's open up this box and let's take a look at this keyboard. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll notice when you plug in the keyboard is automatically recognizable. So you want to go download that software. This is basically a software uh, or the RGB controller and the keyboard controller for um, Razer's mice, headphones, keyboards, all of the stuff that they sell. You can control all of these things, but you can see here that they offer you to install all of these optional, uh, optional things when you first plug it in. So. You can plug in Chroma Studio, which is connected, so you can link your keyboard, for example, to some of the RGB you have in your machine to be the same light. Alexa, Chroma Visualizer, enable device smart lights, and so you can do a bunch of stuff. I don't need any of that stuff. But yeah, all we need is the uh, Razer Synpath, Synapse, Synapse, let's just call that. We're gonna install that. This padding is insane. Like, the most comfortable padding I've put my hands on uh with a keyboard i mean it is literally ridiculous the cushion is just insane all right guys after you restart your machine uh you're gonna have to create an account and log in if you already have a razor account you can just log in with that uh quick tour we'll skip all this for now razor software only usually shows you what's plugged in so you're gonna click on what's plugged in i think you can customize per key so i'm pretty sure you can customize per key like there's insane stuff that you can do per key uh but we're gonna go to lighting brightness is 100 percent um but yeah so here's all the options that you have under keyboard uh so i'm gonna just show uh wave oh okay it looks looks very pretty wheel i think wheel goes around in a circle you can see that it's kind of cool and fire what's well, fire oh it's basically like look like a fire here's ripple Oh, Ripple is really cool. This padding is insane. I'm gonna take close-up shots for you right here in a second. This padding is just out of this world. I mean, look at this thickness. It's beautiful. You put it here and you don't have to use it. You can use it with other keyboards. You don't have to use it with this keyboard. You can take it off and it just literally sits perfectly on the keyboard. The one thing you're gonna lose, keep in mind, is the logo. So the lighting on the logo will go away because you're covering it up. You still get a logo in the middle, but it's just not lit up. One of the main reasons I went for this is two reasons. The actually three reasons is this pad right here is really awesome, very comfortable. Uh, it's not made of plastic, it's made out of like thick material that is just very cushiony and nice. 
The other reason is the green switch razor just knocks it out of the park every single time with their keys. They feel really good. They sound phenomenal and they're very soothing to type on. The third thing that I went on is all of these the, the has a separate media control. So it has play, pause uh, and next and back, back and forward. And then it has this button for muting and for a circle that you can control the audio. Uh, so yeah, overall, I'm very, very happy with this keyboard. I'm going to obviously do some gaming on it and I'll let you guys know what I think. Yum. Mm. I don't know what's all got. It's all got, guys. Yum. Oh, very, very smooth, guys. I gotta say, I'm very pleased with this right now. Even, even if I just hear the keys by myself, I'm very happy. I mean, they're all quite loud, I gotta say. I don't know if you can hear them. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear them, but they're quite loud. Uh, so if you're a streamer, you will probably want to be careful. Put your microphone a little further from the usual. So that's just one thing you got to keep in mind. They're not it's not a quiet keyboard. Uh, and I, I like it this way. I don't mind loud keyboards, but I mainly bought it for the feel of the switch. We're going to be testing some uh, typing. Okay, it, it's obviously, here's the thing. It feels really good to type on. It might take you a little bit to get adjusted to. Uh, just because of the keys a little different than other keyboards. Doesn't mean they're bad. They're amazing. It just, they're just a little different. But yeah, one thing I'm going to show you right, guys. I'm going to show you the keys and how they look from close up. This is the keys. They're a little wobbly, as you can see. They're not, like, not very tight. Uh... You can see that they're a little bit more wobbly than usual. I think that's just how all of the Razer uh, keyboards are usually. But I'll let you guys know in a, w a few weeks here how I adjust to it and how I like it. But yeah, all keys are a little wobbly. They're all obviously you can take them apart easily. This is how the key looks from close up without the keypad on it. As you can see in this shot, the, the, the keyboard comes with two stands, two different heights, this height and a major height that's just much bigger. Uh, so if you need, that's is a very nice touch from uh, Razer over here. I really like that they do that. It's very nice quality. It shows just that they actually care about the product. They care about the gamer, which is really nice. The other thing that's really cool is this keyboard has like a path where you can basically wire your cable through. So I can put my cable through here. But you got to keep in mind, you know, you're, you're putting the cable a little tight. Not that it matters really big time, but you can see that they have uh, basically a pipeline for the wire to go through. It is nice that this wire is a little braided, which makes it really nice. One of the really other cool features is that this keyboard basically has uh, a power cable and a headphone jack. So you can plug both of those things to the back of your computer and you can plug in USB drives in here or air headphones or whatever you want. All right, guys, from a gift to you for watching this video, I'm gonna give you 50 seconds of beautiful audio from this keyboard. Let's go. You're welcome. I personally want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this keyboard, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Also, I stream on Twitch all week. So you can come hang out with me. That will be twitch.tv slash chills. All the links are down in the description. Also, you can hit me up on Twitter and join our Discord server if you have questions about streaming, about content creating, and about uh, basically hardware and software for streaming. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Ah!